so many moments this week where I have said I should have picked up the camera and started recording because <clears throat> there's been so many dope things that have been happening. Conversations, realizations, ideas, all that stuff, and I wish I was recording. So I'm telling myself now that I'm done being, not lazy, but I was trying to wait for the right time to start vlogging. The right time is now. So I'm going to vlog my entire journey of becoming an entrepreneur and figuring this thing out. I just had an idea for my podcast. So I want to start a podcast to bring uh, attention and awareness to people in the Atlanta community and throughout the United States at large and even internationally who are creative entrepreneurs. Creative people who enjoy arts, music, fashion, that type of thing, and who enjoy entrepreneurship, being their own boss, figuring things out, solving problems in a creative way. Not just the creative problem solving, but in the creative community being problem solvers through their business. So I want to have conversations with these people and get to know them better. So I'm starting a podcast. And I just thought of rags to richness. That's crazy because we have this phrase called rags to riches, which is like going from nothing into having a bunch of money. But what I want to do is create a more holistic life. The same. And to me, that word richness has a richness to it. It's not just about getting financially rich, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally rich through a lot of things. And I want to record my process and other people's process of going from rags to richness. So that's the name of this series, Rags to Richness. And we'll have the associated podcast to share other people's stories. But yeah, that's it. Let me get my thoughts out. I'll, I have a video for uh, explaining why I left Google coming out soon. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. That should be out at this point. Um, but that explains why I left my full-time job and why I'm doing this full-time. Um, but yeah. I'm very excited for this. Um, I think this is going to be really helpful for me just to get all my thoughts down and just see the journey and stay inspired. And then the same thing for everyone else to help them learn through my mistakes and through my wins and all that stuff. I'm going to get some stuff done. I have random uh, treatments and just random stuff to do. Got it. And, uh, Yo. To... You. What is up, brother? Say what's up to the vlog. Ew. Hey, you're vlogging right now. Yeah, bro, we are officially on YouTube. Let's freaking go, bro. I'm so excited for that. Thank you, bro. Bro, what's up, man? Man, living life like I'm sure you're doing the same. Bro, I, I wanted to call and ask about the whole, like, um the Jake merch thing, bro. That's exciting. That is exciting. Uh, yeah, it was a, an opportunity that was given to me, um, and I'm super grateful that that people care enough or find that I have some sort of talent to where they refer me to other people. And then it just kind of, it kind of just got to him and he reached out to me and, and I delivered on some products. Like having that perspective of gratitude, because that's a very big component to it as well. Like being grateful for what you've been given now and like where you're at now. Because it's one thing to have dreams and like feel like you want to aspire toward more, but you'll never be truly satisfied and and happy until you're grateful for what you have now. So yep. it's both things. Both things are equally as important. My goal this year is to make 100K. Not goal. I'm going to hit 100K. I was making, so between September when me and Foggy blew up until February, on average, I've made 7K a month. Fire. Just off of Shot by Nehemiah videos, right? And that was Fire. when I was working a full-time job. And we have to be as serious about the business part as we are about the creative. 100%. So that's something my dad has. Uh, but it's 2 o'clock. We both think that way. Yes. So I'm going to figure that out and set it up. But um, yeah, bro. Great talking to you. Thanks for calling me back. I know you got to go. So Of course, bro. All right. Adios. See ya. Man. I love that guy. Swayze is one of the best people in the world. Super uh, genuine, super nice. Um, I love when my friends call me in the middle of the workday because I just feel so inspired to keep doing what I'm doing. Currently 5 o'clock. And I have some other stuff I want to do, but um, I just submitted a budget for this video. And I don't have a specific number on their budget, but I just know that for this artist that they're working with, it's more of a new artist, so they don't have a big budget for this artist. So part of my goal as a business is to figure out how to get them quality content at a budget they can afford. A client asks, how much does it cost? And then we ask, what's the budget? And there's always like the back and forth. So 
I sent the number through and we'll see how they receive it and we'll figure out how to come to a common agreement. So I just spent the past couple of hours thinking about my goals for this year for Shot by Nehemiah and my entrepreneurship stuff. And I came up with a weekly posting schedule for all my content between my Nehemiah account and my Shot by Nehemiah account. And um, I'm not going to lie, it's a little overwhelming. Yeah, I did a lot of work today. I think I'm going to be done for the day. Um, I'm going to go get some food, either cook something or eat out. I'm not sure. Valentine's Day was yesterday and I spent a lot of money, so I probably should go cook. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end today. And check back in with y'all tomorrow on some more work we got going on. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. It is now Thursday, 9.55 a.m. And I got out of bed like 20 minutes ago. I was scrolling on my phone. My alarm was set for 9.30, but I usually sit in bed and scroll on Instagram and TikTok. I hate that habit. I need to get out of that. Because um, it just makes me anxious for no reason. Being on social media, just scrolling and stuff like that. So, I hate doing that. So, I got a call in like four minutes. <clears throat> I've been doing these customer uh, evaluation calls, but I'm really just trying to get a sense for the people that I'm serving through Shop by Nehemiah. And I give them a five to 10% discount on their next invoice if they spend some time with me talking about their business and their goals and stuff. So um, it's not one of those like fill out this form, this survey thing. It was that. But I realize there's more value with some of these people with just having a conversation with them because a form can feel impersonal. That's fire. So you're, you're giving them... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. That's, man, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts on them. And that's what people are saying. Like, it's just too technical right now for the average consumer to get it. Right, I just finished that call and it went pretty good. Um, I was able to understand what uh, their goals were uh, as a company for this coming year. And it's pretty much what I had expected. Um, a lot of these labels are understanding that they need to be on the vertical content wave. And a lot of them are there already. So now they're trying to find people who they can trust to shoot this content and to make it good. But yeah, now that that call's done, I'm gonna get into my work for the day. I'm gonna go take my dog out, do all that fun stuff. Um. So, so. With this NFT research, the cool thing about it from what I've seen is that I can verify membership to a certain thing, right? So if I have somebody buy an NFT from me for something with the SBN community, I can verify that that person actually owns something that they bought from the SBN community. Say Instagram goes down, say Patreon goes down, say Facebook goes down, for whatever reason, I can create my own technology so that I can verify ownership of things that I've sold people or people involved in these communities. And that gives me the flexibility to add things on later. Like I could say anyone who has bought this NFT from me can also get a discount on this or also gets access to this. That's a concept that Gary Vee is talking very uh, um, passionately about right now. And I see the opportunity in that too. Just, I've been working on invoices for the past hour. What that consists of for me is looking at a treatment that I've developed or an artist has given me and figuring out how much I should charge based on that concept. I sent in an invoice to an artist for two videos and it was on the higher end of stuff that I've done recently. So I was very nervous to send it over. Although that I've worked with this person before, I've worked with one of their other artists, not this one in particular. I don't know how much money they have or what their budget is. So I just did my best to price something that I think is fair based on my rate and the work that I'm doing. Taking risks and sending numbers out there that I can explain and I know are fair is something that's just part of the business and something that I need to feel confident in. Like, If 
I'm nervous about what I'm sending, but I know it's the right thing to send. And I'm not trying to take advantage of someone. I'm just trying to charge what's fair. And I should be confident in that. So that's something that I'm learning. And the dude hit me back and said, everything looks great. We're locked in. So that was like a, a huge sigh of relief for me. And it's giving me more confidence to just charge what I'm worth and to keep doing that. And Okay, I just finished a good amount of work. It's 3.51. I'm going to find a snack to eat. I don't have any groceries, so I'm going to try to find something in my fridge or in my cabinet that I can make so I can eat something. And then I'm going to take a nap before my meeting because I'm tired and I didn't get enough sleep last night. So, oh, and I might read my book a little bit. At this point in the day, I always feel like it's time for a nap. Because, I don't know, I just get sleepy for some reason. I've been wanting to read. I have all these books over here that I've started but haven't finished yet. Well, I finished this one. Uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is another really good book that I'm almost finished with, as you can see. Um, this is a really good book and a book that I'll be studying and not just reading, but like studying and coming back to over the course of me doing this entrepreneurship thing. Now that I'm not... Working two jobs, now that I don't have a six-figure income, I gotta cook instead of buying food all the time. Um, I spent like $1,500 on food one month, and when I put it all together, I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna, it's not gonna work. So, so far this month, I spent $400 on eating out. I'm already doing better. So, we're cooking some stuff today, and we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, I'm about to eat, about to watch more YouTube videos on Random stuff like NFTs and buyer psychology and all that. Man, I love watching content from the future because the way that Chris Doe and his team break down information, it makes so much sense. And it's so quick. I watched a 13-minute video on how to sell. Um, and it had nothing to do with really what I thought it would. It was mostly about like what worked for him in his past and how it's different than a lot of us think that sales are. I should be more focused on understanding the problem that my clients are running into more than anything and empathizing with their problem instead of trying to quickly come up with the solution. And the more I understand, the more the solution will become clear. The solution comes from your understanding. The solution doesn't come from me making the solution, if that makes sense. It's something that I'm learning. So I need to like reprogram my brain to think that way instead of thinking about solutions so much and like fixing stuff. I was. We're meeting. We're meeting? It's 5.30. Oh, I thought that we were skipping it this week. Did I say that? I thought so because we had one on Monday. No, I think I said we were going to meet this week. Oh, okay. That's fine. Did I wake you up? No, I was just, I was asleep, and then I was up right now, and I'm, I was just laying down. Oh, say what's up to the vlog. I vlog. This is who edits the videos. This is my brother. What with this is to just build a whole library of resources yeah. through my journey of just doing what I'm doing to help people, right? That's the goal through, through everything we're doing. And as we do that, that's what brings us money, right? The goal is not to make money. The goal is to provide value to people and to help them solve their problems. And that's when you get money, right? So I find a lot of joy and fulfillment in helping people with stuff through what I'm passionate about. And it's really cool that people want to give you money because of that. I mean, that's the part, the point of business. I'm sure that you're learning like finance and stuff. I got to call a client. Um, there's some confusion on my pricing and stuff like that, which I think back when I first started was a very nerve wracking conversation. But like I was saying to y'all earlier, if I know why I'm pricing something a certain way, that conversation gets easier. So I sent him a message to explain why the reel that he wanted to do was not my base price of 600, but why it went up to 800. So I'm gonna give him a call and see if we can work this out and see if I can understand um, his confusion and concerns and just be able to, like, to help him resolve that. So um, yeah, let's call him and see. Um, but once we start adding on other people, concepts and stuff, that's when you know things go up just to compensate for everyone's time effort, gear that we have to rent and all that. So I hope that that makes a little more sense. Yeah, definitely, it definitely makes more sense. All right, yeah, that wraps up today. I have nothing else to say. I'm gonna go eat some food and just chill for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna see y'all in the morning.
morning. It's like 11.30 in the morning. Hey, I'm gonna head into the office, to the Google office. There's some people I wanna see that I haven't seen in a little minute. I don't ever go into the office, but I still have access because I'm still an employee. But my team is on the West Coast, so I work from home when I was working, but um, I could still go into the office and I have my own desk and stuff. So I'm gonna go into the office today, give y'all a little mini tour of the Google office in Atlanta. Um, and then see some people that I want to say bye to before I leave. I'm mainly going over there because they have free food. They have free breakfast and free lunch. And I need to go get groceries. And I need to stop spending money on food like y'all know already. So. And this is a lot of people's dream job. So I don't take that lightly at all, but I have to be honest with myself and realize that this isn't for me. So I'm okay with that, but I'm very grateful for the time that I did here, have here at Google. It propelled me into what I'm doing now as an entrepreneur and as a director. So I don't regret any of the journey at all. Um, I'm really glad that I went through everything that I went through because not only did I get to where I wanted to be in the end, but I feel like the people that I met and the person that I became through going through the traditional route is really helpful. 18th floor, so we're gonna head up there. I have some friends at the front desk. I hope they're there or not at lunch. But yeah, you guys are gonna love the office. The art is incredible. There's so many black people here, which is cool. I've never seen that many people in an office, especially in tech. So it's really inspiring for me when I first got here. So this is Word Cafe. This is one of the cafes here. There's two of them. This is on the 18th floor and there's one on the 24th floor. This is the one with like a lot of different restaurants and stuff. There's like a Chipotle type restaurant. They have um, a restaurant that rotates food out every day. And they have chefs here. It's not just like regular like hospital food, but there are actual chefs here that cook and prepare food every day. So the food is really good. Oh, what's up? Good to see you. How are you? I'm well. How about yourself? Good, man. I wanted to come in to hopefully see you. I was going to ping you. This is my, not my last day, but I'm my two weeks in. I'm out of here. What do you mean? I'm out of here. I'm quitting. Wow. Where are you going? Entrepreneurship. Okay. Well, everyone in here is so nice. I was like, I put my two weeks in. I'm quitting my job. I'm doing directing on YouTube full time. They're like, oh my God. Gosh, that's so cool. I wish you the best. Good luck, all that stuff. I love this office, bro. It's kind of awkward because I don't want to record people without the permission. And I don't want to miss any of moments either. So, I don't know. I have the camera off for most of these interactions. But, um, yeah, the energy in here is really dope. What's good? Hey. Hey, say what's it's up Shay, to the Shay. vlog. Introduce it's yourself. Me. My name's Shay. I'm from Portland, West Coast. Okay. Yeah, get with it. What should we do here? I'm a barista. I make lattes. You know? The You're best. For a right. Miss Tawana. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> this lady right here, man, so nice. So oh nice. God, oh one God. of the nicest people in the building. Man, as I walk through these hallways, I'm getting a little emotional. The office has a distinct smell. It just smells like an office, like a new office. And that's how the New York office smells. So I'm getting taken back to all the memories of when I first started picking up a camera. Like, if it weren't for my Google internship in New York City in 2019, I wouldn't have had the money to buy my first camera. And I get started running around the city, meeting people, models and photographers, and being inspired and just learning through working with other people. Um, so. It's a little bittersweet, honestly, walking through these hallways, which will probably be the last time that I walk through them. Um, but I know that what's next and what's ahead of me is greater than, you know, everything that I've done up to this point, so I'm excited. So, I'm going to leave them both a note, a handwritten note, just to be all sappy and stuff. Uh, my two coworkers, they sit right next to me. My coworker has a notebook. I'm going to rip some paper out. hope she doesn't mind, and I'm going to write them both notes, thanking them for everything. 
how great it was getting to know them and all that type of stuff. On the yeah. vlog? Yeah. This is Molly. Hey vlog. What's up? I came to say goodbye. I'm taking over. Go ahead, here. Goodbye. Take it. Take it. Hey, welcome to my vlog. I'm Molly. I've always been waiting for this. I should be famous. So, ding, ding, Google. <laughs> uh, your job title again? Receptionist? I'm the receptionist, yes. Yeah, most yes. energetic receptionist here. So, I saw you earlier when you just came back because I got here like an hour and a half mm -hmm. ago. I saw you a little bit, but I was busy. Yeah, I didn't want to bother you. Fourth floor with the game room and all that stuff. When I tell y'all I'm never in this office, I'm never in this office. But they just told me the game room is open. The 27th floor is open, which I think is the highest one so far. I think they have five more floors to build. So before I leave, I'm gonna go up there and check that out and show that to y'all too. But I think every office around the United States has some similar like game room and stuff like that. So we're gonna go up there, check that out, and then go home. We're at the 24th floor, so I'm gonna walk and see what this game room is looking like. I don't think anyone's up here, but. Oh, it's this floor. I've been up here before. But I don't know where the game room is at. Yeah, this stuff was back here, man. I'm kind of sad now that I have to leave. Like, there's all this, like, beautiful working space, like, greenery. There's people. It's bittersweet. It's, it's bitter for that reason, man. Like, the culture and the people that are here are just incredible. And I'm, I'm very sad that I have to leave it, but I know that I have to move to the next thing that's best for me. But honestly, this is just an inspiration for me to build something like this from my own, from my own people. All right, y'all, it's Friday. I'm going to go see my girlfriend and get some work done at her place um, and end the week. I don't really have too much stuff to do for today. I just gotta like probably finish up some invoicing stuff. I don't have any edits to do right now. Um, I gotta call some clients and like uh, get some things booked. But by the end of the week, we have like three or four more shoots booked already. We got deposits for all of them, working on another couple of them. Um, we finished some edits for some clients. We've learned a lot about um, just like client relations and stuff like that. Um, we talked to some cool people at the beginning of this week. I didn't record any of that, but we have a new mentor, um, a mentorship group we joined of black entrepreneurs that are older than me. So I'm excited about that. Y'all will have some, see some content about that. So it was a good week, a productive week. I'm gonna end the vlog today um, or end this vlog now. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy the journey of me learning to become an entrepreneur and just figuring out how to make money doing stuff that I love because there's no other way to do it in my brain. So I'm going to figure it out one way or another. Um, and I just want to bring y'all along for the ride so you can learn as much as you can through my mistakes and through my wins. Um, and so I can just look back and have something to be proud of and, you know, maybe show my kids and stuff like that. So um, somebody almost ran into me because they're not paying attention. But that's Atlanta. So... Yeah, I hope y'all are blessed. Follow me on Instagram right here on the screen uh, for content breakdowns. Not content breakdowns, but just more content based on stuff that I couldn't put in the vlog. I'm always recording stuff, and there's a lot of gems that I want to share with you guys that I learned from other people. So um, make sure you follow me on Instagram for a lot of those pieces of content that I can't get on the YouTube channel. Make sure you uh, also follow the Rags to Richness podcast. I'll be recording the first episode next week, but by the time this goes up, the episode should already be up. Yeah, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week for next week's festivities and activities and work. Um, but yeah, man. That's it.